Hey guys, Rushkit J here back with another video for you. Today we're taking a look at the Asus Mars Dual GeForce GTX 760, a dual GPU. Uh, for the full review, please click on the link on the screen. That will be um, up very soon and you can check out all the graphs and comparisons against the other cards. Um, but we're going to take a look at this today quickly. I've got it out of the box just to speed things up. Um, so let's get straight into it. Now this is an absolute monster of a card look at this beast so republic game is steam with the red and black going again on this card um so yeah we've got a dual gtx 760 in this it's using the direct cu2 coolers we've seen before which has got eight heat pipes spread over the two gpus um but let's give you a little look around this let's give you an idea of the size as well while we're here so let's put this down carefully so as you can see on the back there's an aluminium back plate it also makes it nice and rigid as well um, so this is 280 millimeters long, absolute monster. Um, but yeah, we've got an aluminium backplate on this, and you can see the uh, post caps there as well, just here. Um, but yeah, Republic of Gamers aluminium backplate. Let's give you a run around and give you a few specs while we go as well. So yeah, aluminium all along here, open cooler. Um, it's going to be 20% cooler than other cards as well. It's going to be um, a maximum 80 degrees is what we found um, with this. And it absolutely goes like a train. Um, so, yeah, so let's go from the top. So on the very top here, you can see the uh, direct CE2 cooler. Um, there's also a few heat pipes you can see there as well. Um, this Mars logo does pulsate as well. Uh, glows up red. Um, up the top here, we've got a... SLI connection, you can do quad SLI with this monster. Um, to the far right, we've got a dual 8 pin power connection. If you're you do get actually a um, dual 6 pin to 8 pin adapter, but you really need to be running a new power supply that's got 8 pins for this. Um, if you're running one of these cards, um, you, know, you can see the, the uh, heat pipes on there. On the side, there's not very much to note. Um, underneath, you can see the direct CU2 coolers and also some of the Japanese capacitors that are there. Um, a dual card slot design. Uh, we've also got on the side, now this is rather unusual, you don't see this very often. We've got a mini display port and three DVI connections. Now you don't see that every day. Um, it's quite rare to see. That's pretty sweet. You can set up your triple screens really easy. Um, also an outtake for cooling there as well. Um, your PCI connection on the bottom there as well. So let's give you a few specs that we know. Um, so we've got six gigabytes of GDR5 memory, a base clock of 1006 megahertz, and a boost clock of 1,188 megahertz, um, 6,004 megahertz of memory clock, 512 bit because it's uh, dual processors. Um, it supports OpenGL 4.3 as well. Um, also a few things you get with it as well. You get the adapter about the power I showed you, but you also get a DVI to HDMI adapter, a speed setup guide, and a driver's manual, which also includes the GPU tweak software. Um, and you also get one of the awesome, cool uh, Republic of Games case badges that is magnetic. So you don't have to worry about any stickiness on your case. Um, but yeah, very, very, very nice, these case badges. And yeah, it just sticks to your case. So yes, yeah, sweet. Um, but yeah, I think we've looked around everything. We've got Digi VRM Plus as well, which is tw with uh, 12 phase power design, with uh, hardened alloy power chokes, capacitors and MOSFETs. But it weighs a ton. It's also, I love that the fact that where it's got the back plates and things, it's really rigid. Um, it's built like a house, built like a brick house, goes like a train, and uh, yeah, it's one beast of a card. Um, but yeah, that was a quick look uh, at the Asus Public Gamers Dual GTX 760. Thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next video.